Hey y'all, welcome back to the channel. Today I am installing another wig from Nadula Hair. They sent a tote bag, they sent a scarf, they sent a lot of goodies in this package. A wig cap, lashes. They also sent this wig um, band, I think that's what it's called, and a necklace. I was really excited about the band. It's my first time ever using one. It has lace on it, so it like makes for an easy install. I didn't even have to have on the wig cap. So I'm just showing you guys what the hair looks like right out. Well, I did wash it the day before and I did bleach the knot and it is a body wave hair. So this is an up close look at the lace after I bleached the knot. So I'm showing you guys the cap construction. You get two clips on the side, a clip in the back and an adjustable strap. And like I said, this is a five by five HD lace closure wig. So you just have that middle part in the front that's lace. And I'm just trying it on right now to see what it looks like. Don't mind that part right now. We're just trying it on just to get a feel of what the hair looks like. Now I'm putting on the, I think it's called a wig bandage or a band. I'm putting on the band, the wig band, okay? And you guys can see it has that little lace in the front. So the lace obviously is lighter than my skin tone. So I'm using my foundation so that it can match my skin tone and it really did help. Um, I think like this is just so convenient. You don't have to do like all it, those extra steps. You just put this on and then pretty much throw your wig on and you're good. So I'm also adding that foundation to the lace on the wig. I just always do that because it just looks better in my opinion. So I did cut the lace off off camera. I'm not good at doing it on camera, sorry. But I just cut it in a zigzag motion and I'm just putting it on. So with this wig install, you don't have to do much. It's just like a glueless wig. You just... I call it a throw on and go type of wig so um, you can decide not to add baby hairs and things like that which is pretty much how I'm gonna wear but I did show you guys how I added the baby hairs at the end but I like the look without it but yeah <laughs> right now I'm just plucking the hairline a little bit because it was a little thicker than I would like it to be so I'm just thinning it out just a little bit so it can have more of a natural look. Now I'm going in and adding a couple of light layers in the front just so I can shape my face. So I decided to, even though it's body wave hair, I decided to make it straight. Whenever I get body wave hair, I either straighten it or curl it. Um, that's just what I do. Like, I rarely ever wear it in this natural form. So today I decided to straighten it because I like body wave because it's like a little thicker. It gives it a little bit more texture than just straight hair, if you know what I mean. So I'm straightening it and it straightens very nicely. You guys can see that the waves straighten very nicely. Okay, y'all, I'm back after straightening my hair. It is bone straight, baby. And I did my makeup, got cute real quick. I did decide to add a couple of baby hairs in the front. So I'm just cutting a small piece and um, I'm curling it upward with my flat iron. I usually use my mini flat iron, but I didn't feel like getting it. So I'm, this worked just fine. I'm curling it up and then I'm adding a little bit of my got to be 
gel and free spray so that it can just stay in place but like i said i like because i'm wearing it in the straight part you're not going to see the baby hairs but in case the wind wants to blow you can see a little something i decided last min minute to add the baby hairs i mean just so you guys can have an options but i'm just gonna wear it just as a throw on wig this wig is very convenient y'all this may be one of my new everyday wigs because you can just really throw it on and go especially with the wig band it stays sturdy it doesn't slip it helps it so that it doesn't slip or move around much um so yeah i really like this wig and shout out to nadula hair for creating a um glueless wig that's super super duper convenient i did go in with my hot comb so that the part can be nice and flat This hair is 180% density, so it's nice and thick, and it is 24 inches, so it goes all the way down to my waist. I do like to cut my hair at the bottom just like straight. I don't know, I just like the blunt ends better than like the frayed ends, so I always do that with all of my hair. So I'm just giving you guys a couple more close-ups of the hair. I love the texture of it. It looks really nice and I love how the scalp area looks. It just looks very natural. This is a great wig, especially if you are a beginner and you don't feel like, you know, dealing with all that extra lace with the full lace wigs. I would definitely try a five by five first so that you can you know just get the hang of it if you guys want to check out this wig i'll have all the links down below in my description thank you nadula hair for sponsoring today's video and as always i love you guys and i'll see you guys next time bye